You gotta keep making ugly faces, because when you keep making ugly faces, the cameras won't get the face recognition. I'm too bad. Chill, come on, bro. Yo, yo. Uh. Yo, 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 relax, bro. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Well, guys, the prophecy is true. For many years on this website, myself and others have predicted that with the word prank losing all of its meaning, eventually we're gonna start seeing people commit full-on serious crimes and then label them as a prank. And, well, looks like we're here, people. Now, uh, unfortunately, committing a crime and then uploading it onto YouTube, labeling it as a prank is not exactly that new. But for the most part, people have kept their crimes petty. You know, licking ice cream cream in the store, smashing TVs in Walmart, walking into somebody's house. Okay, well, maybe petty's a strong word, but today we have reached a new level. Allow me to introduce you to the YouTuber Lawrence Finesso, who's got tons and tons of bangers like throwing trash in people's car prank, drinking and driving dealership cars, peeing on strangers' car in the hood prank. I mean, you can really tell this is top-level content. But my personal favorite in a video we're going to be watching today is a video titled I'm Tired of Being broke. Which, like, sure, that's a fine title. I feel like most people are. But don't let the title fool you. This is a prank video in disguise where this guy goes around and fake robs stores. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a banger. And I would agree if, uh, you know, this guy wasn't actually robbing these stores. I know you're seeing it in the background right now, and the guy clearly has a toy gun. So you might be thinking, okay, this is a pretty poor taste prank, but it doesn't really seem to be that bad. But no, this guy genuinely robs a store in this video. I'm not joking. You're about to see it. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Welcome back to a new video, y'all. Appreciate you guys for clicking in the video. All you guys are our buddy. So right now we're heading to Five Below because I forgot my pistol at home, aka Nerf gun. Where do I find guns? guns. Anything gun related. I'm trying to be a gangster. I'm trying to rob a corner store. No, in here. Like a Nerf gun? No. Water gun? You can try Target. How am I gonna be a gangster without a gun? Yo, no, he might have it though. Not a real gun, idiot. No, not a sword, buddy. A gun. A pokey? Oh, you see, she lied. Why are you lying? Look, I'm gonna level with you here. I remember being in middle school and the funniest thing on the planet was yelling in public. So I get it. When you're young, you think it's funny. I don't know how old these guys are. The main guy here seems uh, significantly older than his two buddies. So uh, I'm not sure what we're working with here. But um, as an old man in his early 20s at this point, I can tell you that uh, it's not funny. And one day you will look back and cringe on all the stupid things you yelled in public. I'm speaking from experience. The last time I did this show, I basically was giving you guys all the steps on how to rob your local gas station. So we're gonna do the same thing here, y'all. Don't worry about the ambulance. Even if it was the police, it wouldn't even matter because nine times out of ten, it's just an all distraction. All right, guys. So I'm curious. What are your thoughts on a prank where a guy walks into a store with an obviously fake gun and pretends to rob the store? Personally, I feel like that is still something that would end up on my channel for a few different reasons. The first one and the main reason being that I think it's very easy to forget while you're watching something like this on YouTube that only the audience, the cameraman, and the person pulling the quote prank are the only ones who know that this is supposed to be a prank. We're the only ones in on the joke, if you can even call it that. I mean, try and step into the shoes of the cashier. You have a guy walk into your store yelling and screaming while someone's filming him and he's waving around a fake gun. Your mind is probably not going to go straight to, oh, this guy's filming a prank for his YouTube channel. You're probably going to think, this guy is deranged. I might be in genuine danger. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about that YouTube prankster that was shot recently. And a lot of people on the internet have been saying that was too far. He was just messing with them. That doesn't justify you shooting him. And there's a lot of nuance in that argument. I'm not going to get into that today. But you've got to keep in mind that there was no way for that guy to know that what was going on was a quote prank. All he knows is that he's in public minding his own business. And then a guy who is physically larger than him comes right up to him, gets in his face, is not saying a word, staring at him like a psychopath, and is following him around in public, closing the distance every time he moves away. In real life, your brain does not go to, oh, this guy is probably a prankster. It goes to this guy is a threat. So even if this guy wasn't to actually rob the store, which again, he's going to, calling this a prank is insane because it's not obviously a joke. There's no punchline. It's just threatening people in public. Step one, when you go in there, you gotta make an ugly face. Step number two, you gotta keep making ugly faces because when you keep making ugly faces, the cameras won't get the face recognition. Let's go, 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 let's go
Step number three, you always have a cameraman with you, because every time you have a cameraman, they're going to think it's just a prank. So, uh, yeah, he actually just robbed that store. For what? For a YouTube video that got a few thousand views. I honestly can't even put all the blame on this guy. I've got to blame some of it on YouTube. They'll remove Let's Plays of a video game because it's too graphic, but they won't take down a video of a guy genuinely robbing a store. And not just robbing the store to rob it, robbing it with the sole intent of using the footage to get popular on YouTube. I mean, they're basically encouraging it. They claim to be a child-friendly platform, yet they let videos videos like this get popular all the time. Otherwise, people wouldn't make them. All right, y'all, so it's not gonna happen many times. We got an officer right there in front of us. We in Jersey City right now, so you always gotta look friendly with the officers. If they see that you're dancing, they're definitely going to that gas station. As you guys seen on the last clip, it's not gonna go like that all the time. You feel me? Notice I ain't even had to say, put your hands up. They thought it was all a prank, and I literally took all this. You know, I genuinely cannot tell whether or not this guy is just playing dumb, or if he really thinks what he's doing is considered a prank. Like Lawrence, if you ever see this, or if any of your fans ever see this and you're watching this right now, what's the prank? I mean, you robbed the store. So if the joke is that you're not really robbing the store, I feel like we've kind of messed up here. Like, I'm just kind of confused. There's no prank here unless I'm missing something. You actually just robbed a store. I don't think they thought it was a prank. I think they just got robbed. I'm gonna teach you guys how to rob a gas station with the cops being involved. So don't run this now because if you run, you might actually get shot. I'm showing you guys how to get everything for free at every single store. Oh, hey there, man. You gotta get shot at every single store. You're not gonna arrest me if I walk out with this, right? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll pay for it. Go ahead. Can you put that back, please? Yeah, put that back. Put it back, please. Oh, yeah, I'm buying it. I'm buying it, buddy. Oh, okay, go ahead. I'm buying right. it, buddy. So, I mean, I guess this is a slight step up from him just actually stealing all of it. But I just don't get it, man. I do not understand the audience for this kind of stuff. Unfortunately, like I said, this stuff has been around forever. I remember seeing these kinds of pranks when I was a kid. This is the first time I've actually seen somebody just steal stuff. But uh, these sorts of pranks, this genre of pranks is nothing new. And I remember being like 12 and still not finding this kind of stuff funny. I mean, I feel like as a collective society, we need to bring back shame. We need to start giving people a good shaming. I mean, seriously, when's the last time you heard a good shame on you? I feel like we used to shame people who were public nuisances on purpose. Where'd that go? Bye. How long are you gonna stay out here? Damn. I know this cops here, y'all. Don't charge me for it. Act like you charge me for it. I'm not playing with you. No, he's nice, guys. Yeah, Please. yeah. Stop. All right, y'all. No, he's a buddy. So, all right, y'all. So we're gonna run out the store, and when we run out the store, the cops is gonna think that we stole something. So that means they're gonna follow us. When they follow us, you get a second partner to come in to actually rob the store. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm just not living life correctly, but I've never woken up one morning and been like, you know what would be fun? I'm gonna go and try and trick the police into thinking I'm committing a crime and get them to arrest me falsely. Except uh, I actually did kind of rob a store a few hours ago, so it wouldn't really be a false arrest, but uh, I didn't rob this store, so it's gonna be an epic prank and an epic waste of taxpayer money. I mean, I just don't get it. Huh? What's up, man? What? Again, video? What? The cops? Look, I just checked outside. The cops is not here. Yeah. Hey, buddy, back. stay out of this, buddy. Stay out of this. Put it back. Man. Huh? Put it back. Come on, but chill, bro. Chill, bro. Yo, chill, dude. No, no, man. Yo, bro. chill, no, bro. No, chill, man. chill, dude. Yo, chill. Chill. Come on, bro. Yo, yo. Uh. Yo, 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 relax, bro. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Is anybody laughing right now? Is anybody in on this joke? Are you guys getting the punchline? I mean, am I just too old? Is it time for me to go walker shopping? I just don't get it. I don't understand how anybody could find this funny. I really don't. I mean, the prank is supposed to be that you're not really robbing the store, right? So why have you gotten into a physical altercation with the store owner so you don't have to pay for the product? This is why people say the word prank has lost all meaning because it's just thrown on anything by people who think that as long as they call it a prank, whatever they do is fine. This is genuine criminal behavior. There's no prank aspect to this whatsoever. So the rest of the video is really just the same thing over and over again, and I don't think you guys want to hear me repeat myself. I mean, there's only so many ways to say that robbing a store and stealing things is not a prank. If you disagree with that statement, then you're a lost cause, or you're like 11. So I don't really think we need to go through this entire thing and dissect every detail, because uh, I feel like most people that watch this are going to be on board from the get-go that this is not really a prank. 
blank. So uh, I don't really feel the need to defend my viewpoint because, you know, it's right. Well, guys, what do you think? On a scale of one to banger, where would you rank this bad boy? It's honestly getting kind of scary because people filming their crimes used to be this rare thing that immediately outed them as an idiot. And now it seems like it's almost starting to become the norm. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those guys who's like, society has fallen. We're all doomed. But uh, when there are people out there who are willing to rob a store for like 4,000 views on YouTube, I do believe that maybe we've, uh, we've gone wrong somewhere. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.